Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. Today, we will be looking at triangles. We will be looking at the right angle triangle, the obtuse triangle, and the acute triangle. I will now go ahead and border my paper. I will now construct a right angle triangle. This is a triangle where one angle is 90 degree. I will first draw my line AB to measure 60 millimeters and also construct a 90 degree angle at point A. So what I did is that I drew my line AB and I constructed an angle at point A. So what I did is that I drew my line AB and AB is 60. And now I'm going to construct an angle at point A. So I open my compass, put it at A, and get this semicircle. Now I'm going to extend my compass just a little more to a radius convenient for you. And I will use point C and D. So point C and D, I will use as centers for my compass. Ensure that your compass is open to a convenient radius. And we will scribe arcs from these points to intersect each other. Where the arcs intersect each other, we will draw a line through to A. Now I have my 90 degree angle from, he from here to here. So A to E will now measure 50 millimeters. I will outline this 50 millimeters. So A to E is 50 and I will draw a line from E to B to complete my right angle triangle.
I will now construct an obtuse triangle. This triangle is one where one angle is greater than 90 degree. I will draw my line AB to measure 60 millimeters. Now the obtuse triangle, one angle is greater than 90, so I, I am going to draw an angle at A to measure 120 degrees. So open your compass to a convenient radius as we learned before, learned before, and we scribe an arc from the AB line. Now we will call this point C. So at C, we will put our, uh, our, our compass at C. And we will scribe another arc with our compass at the same radius to intersect the first arc we drew. Where the, arc inter where the arcs intersect each other, we will now put our compass again at this intersection. And we will scribe another arc to intersect the first arc we drew again. So we can call this point D. And we can call this point, point E. We will draw a line from the intersection of these two arcs to point A to give us our 120 degree angle. Now, from A to point F is 60 millimeters. I will now outline the 60 millimeters. I will now draw a line from point F to point B. Now we have our obtuse triangle. This angle, one angle, is greater than 90 degrees. I will now construct an acute triangle. This triangle consists of all angles less than 90 degrees. I will draw my AB line to measure 80. I will draw my AB line to measure 70 millimeters.
I will construct a 60 degree angle here and a 30 degree angle from this point. So a 60 from this point and a 30 degree from this point. I will put my compass at A. Open the compass to a convenient radius and scribe an arc from the AB line. Place the compass right here where the arc intersected the AB line. Having the same radius, with the compass having the same radius, I will now draw a line to intersect the first arc we drew. So let's call this point C and this point D. I will now draw a line through the intersection of these two arcs. I will now construct a 30 degree angle from this point. So put the compass at B, scribe an arc from the AB line. Let's call this point E. From point E with the compass at the same radius, you will put your compass Use the center E for the compass and we will scribe another arc to intersect this arc. Now let's call this point F. We will now bisect this angle because if we draw a line from B through this intersection, then it would have been, it would have been, a 60 degree angle again but we are actually trying to construct a 30 so I can open my compass just a little more now using points E and F I will bisect that angle I will now draw a line from B. I will now draw a line from B to touch this first line. This will give me to touch this line. This will give me point G. Now always remember to outline your required triangle. So this triangle is now an acute triangle. All the angles are less than 60 degrees. This is my right angle triangle, this is my obtuse triangle, and this is my acute triangle. Now with all triangles, all the angles of the particular triangle will add up to give us 180 degrees. So this angle is 
So this angle right here, G, A, B, and this angle, A, G, B, which is this angle, and this angle, A, B, G, which is this angle right here, they will add up to, to give us 180 degrees. I will now label my triangles. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.